Have you ever opened Midjourney and tried to generate something like this? A full body photo of a man wearing a bright green tux standing on the red carpet surrounded by a crowd. Sharp detail. And then you randomly get corrupted nonsense as a result. Midjourney is supposed to be better than this, right? Where's the problem here? If you've made enough AI art or <laughs> watched a few of my tutorials, the next thing you probably do is go through a checklist in your head. It seems like a good prompt, it's clear, visually descriptive, it's an existing style, it's not focusing on text or fingers or anything else that the AI is bad at, and there's plenty of training data for images just like it. Based on everything that matters, this should go great, right? Wrong. Midjourney is going to struggle with prompts like this one every single time, and understanding why is the key to making better art in Midjourney. Also, you're in luck because they just released a feature that allow you to fix this problem using a single button. I'm telling you, this is so important. Just look at this. When you generate that prompt I just showed you and zoom in on the details, our subject's face looks crumpled up, the suit looks cheesy instead of elegant, the crowd is deformed, and the entire image just feels very AI in all four variations. This isn't a problem with the prompt. This isn't because there aren't enough similar images in the training data. So. What went wrong? How do we stop getting results like that and instead create photorealistic art like this? And wait a second, hang on. Is that the same prompt? How'd I do that? We're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's break it down. The problem here is that Midjourney literally got overwhelmed and tried to do too much at once. Think about it. For a diffusion model, some images require less compute than others. The reason this image sucks is because Midjourney assigns the same amount of compute to every generation. Approximately one GPU minute on their supercomputer cluster. Obviously, that's a problem. A close-up portrait of a subject's face with a blurred background is a lot simpler to accurately render through diffusion than a full-body, professionally designed outfit with 80 high-fidelity faces behind it. So, when it tries to do that using just one GPU minute, it falls on its face and gives you these pathetic results. To get around this deficiency, we need to pick what Midjourney is working on when. The goal is to make Midjourney's GPU focus first on the most important part of the image, then slowly and carefully fill in the details. And we're in luck because Midjourney just quietly added the tool for the job, Reframe. If you don't know, Reframe is the combination of pan, zoom, change aspect ratio, and remix mode. So here on the alpha site, it gives you a chance to visually see what of those actions you're performing, how it'll change the composition of the resulting image, and lets you adjust the prompt while you do it. So coming back to our red carpet example, instead of trying to do all of this at once, we should instead start close in on our subject and work our way out using reframe. Doing that means we're spending our compute on the parts of the image that people will actually pay attention to. Let's watch this in action. We start with a prompt to generate the close-up of our character. Instead of being on the red carpet, we put him on a dark background with lights and a distant crowd for our first image. This way, like for the original, our subject will have the right content in the background right behind him. The difference is it can spend its full compute on getting this part right. And here, obviously Midjourney is powerful enough to do a great job at that. Now we click reframe. There are two ways to reframe an image, either by changing the aspect ratio or zooming out. By combining these, you can put the starting image anywhere in the composition of your frame. Here, we'll start by setting the aspect ratio to two by three and choose start to put our guy's face on the top. Click here to edit the prompt and now our prompt from earlier can come out to shine. The result, hands down, and shows more of the crowd, more of our character, and a bit of that classic red carpet. And looking at these faces, see how much better they already are compared to that original. Obviously, this is still a hard image, and as we work our way down and out, you can see we start to hit the limits of what Midjourney is able to add to a single image. The faces start to get bad, not demon spawn bad, but not good either. And now we know why. The more we ask for, Midjourney has to work harder and tries to get more done, but eventually it just has too much to pay attention to, and the edges of our image still go crazy. 
And after all that, still, you've created a mid-journey image with a coherency that was otherwise impossible. So with this method, not only do you have full control over your composition, you're finally able to see what you're doing to combine pan and zoom to put your subject exactly where you want them, but you can also use this feature to allocate mid-journey with the resources to complete the parts of your request that actually matter to you, starting with the most complex and most important parts of the image and working your way out. Doing this will give you a huge leg up in all kinds of generations. This is super powerful for consistent character generation. Start close up where the consistency from your C-Ref is the best and of the highest quality, then slowly reframe the image step by step to put that character exactly where you want them. This method is miles better than trying to uh, one-shot the same scene and same character. I mean, talk about deform. Look at that, ugh. But apply this to your architecture, your generated paintings or sculptures or carvings, and you're gonna see that you're able to get some mighty fine artworks that were otherwise impossible. This was kind of an intense topic for YouTube, so I really appreciate you taking the deep dive with me. GPU resource management for your AI art is a really technical concept. If you appreciated it, please go ahead and click that like button. It really is the best way to tell YouTube that I did a good job explaining cool stuff. I'll link to this video where I talk about consistent characters. In this one, I created a GPT that writes every prompt you'll need to get great characters every time. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.